Horror games have a complicated relationship with weaponry. Some horror games like Outlast elect to convey complete helplessness in the face of dangers before you by leaving you unarmed. Other horror games, however, instead giving you a fight in chance, but in the process ruin the experience as a whole. Today we are going to be talking about how Scorn handles its damage on its weapons, and how these stats as well as other decisions made by the Scorn devs in regard to weaponry ultimately weaken the horror aspects of the game and the experience as a whole. So let's start this off by running through the damage stats in this game. To begin, there are three weapons that do damage in conventional ways, and three enemies in the majority of the game. The game is split into five different arcs, and due to the complexity and really separate nature of arcs 5 from the rest of the game, this video will not attempt to cover either the homunculus bots or the grenade launcher stats. So with that out of the way, let's first set a value to equal 1 damage. For me, this was the melee. Using this as our baseline, we can find that it takes 2 shots from the melee to kill the small patrol beasties, and 6 shots to kill the workers. This gives 2 units an HP of 2 and 6 respectively. Then using that knowledge, we can measure the last of the guns. First the pistol, which one shots the small beastie and does 2 damage. And then the shotgun, which one shots the worker and thus 6 damage. With this established, we can find the final HP of the bull, which due to taking 2 shotgun shots to kill can be measured as having 12 HP. It's also important to add here that running the test with other guns also works and finds the values, seeing as it will take 6 pistol shots to kill a bull and 3 pistol shots to kill a worker. So with the stats established, I'd like to begin addressing my belief that it is these stats that create a problem in Scorn. Combining with game design to make the gunplay as a whole problematic and in the case of Arc 4 specifically ruining the entire horror aspect. To begin, why am I focusing on Arc 4? Well, it is in this arc that we have all three weapons, and thus can see the greatest impact of the weaponry on gameplay. So let's first start with addressing the largest issue these stats create. The melee is completely useless. Seeing as the melee stagger is weak against all enemies and allows them to easily strike back immediately after being hit, many firefights where you use the melee will result in you taking a large amount of damage and being forced to retreat. However, these issues are flipped completely the second you are given one of the other two firearms, with the pistol allowing one to easily pick off any alarms, then brute forcing your way past workers and bulls with the shotgun. So it's natural to think that my issues with the system just arise from improper play. That if I had used ammo correctly, I wouldn't be complaining. But see, that's the funny part. Ammo is literally everywhere. My issue isn't that the game is too hard and I have to use the melee. It's that there is zero reason to ever use it after you get a single gun. As with the ammo scattered everywhere in Arc 4, you can go full Doom Slayer and destroy the hordes of flesh that are meant to challenge and intimidate, but in actuality fold like simple cannon fodder. To summarize, ammo everywhere, guns destroy easily, but surely that's not enough to say the horror aspects are ruined? Yeah, sure. Not being afraid of the enemies is a huge downside, but the aesthetic of the game and general design ought to make up for it. Well, usually I'd say it's to be true. Arc 4 introduces a happy secondary issue. Soft locking. See, there are some rooms in this game that are designed to be cleared, as I previously mentioned. Rooms where the puzzles are impossible to do without violence. However, what happens when you show up to one of these rooms with a bit too little HP? Well, be prepared to replay a section over and over again until you happen to clear it with just enough accuracy and spent rounds to progress. And while one could argue that HP management should be a larger priority and I just played improper, when the issues of enemies in a horror game isn't that I can't kill them but rather that I need to perfect my killing of a horde as if I'm clearing a boss room in an adventure shooter surely isn't a good thing for the atmosphere or immersion. Maybe I'm just complaining too much in this regard, but for me, I feel like the balancing of guns and scorn was a mess that did not contribute to the game in any real major way. Though I think a fix would be easy, simply add a higher level enemy beyond the bull and, sp and spawn less enemies and hordes. Make people afraid of the individual demon spawns and don't try to base difficulty behind the number of enemies behind a random door for little discernible reason. But feel free to disagree with me. I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you all next time.